I'm John Storms and I'm playing with my uh, new Falcon V2 light controller. I'm about to hook it up to a power supply. So here I got the AC cord coming in. And of course this is load or line, neutral, and ground. I have ground jumpered over to V minus, which is usually black. And then I also have V plus. <coughs> I just need, before I hook it up to my new precious toy, Just loosen this up a little bit. I don't have this one solder tipped. That usually makes it easier. I think I'm using uh, 14 gauge wire. <coughs> you don't want these guys to get overloaded. Uh, certainly for the test I'm not going to overload them. You want to make sure the gauge is strong enough to handle whatever it is you're pulling for the board. You don't want those guys to get hot. Okay, so now what I do is I hook up black to ground. And red to V. Pretty sure. Right. Need another. Right, before I get you farther, let me test this out. Make sure none of the guys are touching each other. That would be bad. Okay, nothing blew up. When I'm, this is a 12 volt power supply. My pixels are 12 volts. So I want this to display here. to come up saying something around 12 volts. This is the ground. Black to black, it's red, 12.05. See, so I could also go from this guy here, this guy here. Yeah, it's not too bad. See, and it jumps. Okay, so it works. I'm not going to fry anything. Let all the little lights turn off. Now, we get up to the power. See on here? Oh, my light's bad. Yeah, ground and V1, ground and V2. So... Get these guys wide open. Okay. Put the ground in this one. Clamp it down. Snug. And it's good to get a hold of board by the edges. Even though you don't think you have a lot of static discharge, you do discharge it little teeny amounts, and it does build up over time. So I have been told in my electrostatic discharge training class, which I've had to take at work multiple times every time we get a new board in, where we handle the very rare development boards. We have to verify that we've gone through that class again. Okay. Alright, then once I get all these screwed down, then I check to make sure I got them right, because when I power it up I don't want to I don't want to fry the board. Snug, 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 snug. Okay. 
So I have ground, which is black, V1, which is red, ground, which is black, V2, which is red. All right, let's power it up, let's see what it does. Smoke, no smoke, got green lights, green light here, green light there. Oh my word, look at that. Oh, look at that, I need to touch this. That is so cool. Look at that. Focus. See that? It says idle. Uptime is 21 seconds. V101. No IP address. I got two little green lights on the daughter board. And I got a green LED there. Oh, that is cool. That is so cool. This might be the best, the best board ever. Okay. I'll lower this down. All right, so we have that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to test the power here coming right off the, these terminals. So at the power supply I had 12.05. Here I have 12.02. And then here I have 12.07. <clears throat> now I should be able to test on the terminal jacks themselves these little green guys so if you go from this direction to that direction it's ground clock data volt so I do black on the ground and I get 12.01 <clears throat> that's what would go out to pixels and over here I get 12.06 very very cool so I'm getting power every place I'm supposed to get power and now I want to set my IP address. So let's see. We could read the instructions, but that would be just un American. Come on, let's get this guy to focus. Okay, so anyhow, this is getting the board powered up. 